What is going on fellow web developers? My name is Tyler Potts and welcome back to another video. In this video, you're going to learn how to use React.js and build a React.js QR generator. So as you can see here, um, we have a simple input form with a button on the right. And what we can do in here is let's just say put in a URL. So let's just put in my own URL here, tylerpotts.co.uk. Hit generate and you're going to see a unique QR code. Now, if you scan this QR code, it will actually open up in your browser you can see this is actually blue and normally they're black you can actually change the color of these qr codes make them unique obviously the better contrast the better it'll work so you know you're better off trying to make sure the colors contrast but this works really well if you got your phone out right now and scans this qr code it will take you to my website we can also see it change on the fly by changing the content to be let's say my website let's do that hit generate and as you can see that changed immediately um, and it looks really cool we can also download this qr code and open it up on our desktop so we can share it uh share it with other people and um, we can change the resolution and the size fit it's pretty awesome so guys without further ado let's get into this tutorial and build this react.js qr code generator okay guys i've opened up a blank folder here as you can see nothing's in it i'm just going to open up the that's the wrong button i'm going to open up the integrated terminal and we're going to use feet to actually generate an app so you need to have npm installed for this to work um and what we're going to do is just type in npm uh create feet at latest and then i'm going to do a dot the dot just means create this feet application in the current empty directory so hit enter um, this will run and generate. It's going to ask us what package name do we want. It's going to ask us a few options here. So we can just call this our React QR Gen. Um, we're going to select React as our framework. We're going to use just standard JavaScript. So we're going to hit React. And then we're going to run npm install to actually get that to install the packages it needs. Once that's done, we'll get one package we need to install to actually be able to use this application or to use the QR generator. And that's called npm um install and we're gonna say qr code just like that it's just that simple hit enter and that's going to install the generator we need to actually be able to create a generating app let's clear that and let's have a look at our folder so you can see here we have some different things you can see here you can change the title list so we're going to say react qr generator there you go so that will change the actual title at the top if we close index and go into source, uh, you can see it's a bunch of different things here. I'm going to delete the app.css. Uh, you could, I'm going to leave the Fafcon there, but I'm going to delete the logo as well. I'm going to go into main, oh, sorry, app.css. I'm going to remove everything for now. Let's just scroll down here. Um, oh, let's just delete that and then delete everything from within here as well. We'll keep the app um, diff on the outside. Um, I'm also just going to copy this. I'm going to detect indentation. Uh, prefer to tabs and indent using tab four because i prefer it that way i'm also going to lowercase the app here because it'll confuse me i'm going to delete all this from up here for now and we're just going to put a h1 which says hello world this is just all a part of my process to clean the app and make sure it's all ready for what we want to do in our main this is all good here it looks fine um, we're using React version 18. Um, so there's a few new features in React, most of them are behind the scenes. Um, so I'm not going to go over them in this video. But if you do want to know more about React 18, let me know and we could do a tutorial just on React 18 itself. Um, inside of our CSS, we're going to add a couple of styles just to start off. We're going to make sure we reset our margin, our padding. We're going to reset our box sizing, our border box. We're going to make sure our font family is set to sans serif. Um, we're then going to go to our body and say text aligned center. We just want everything to be centered for this. It's a super simple app. Um, we're going to add a background color. This is going to be like a dark blue. So 2034. That's about dark bluish, right? Um, I'll do. Um, and then we want everything on the page to obviously be white. So that's good. Let's run this real quick. Let's say npm run def and now that should run as a development environment and on the right here if we refresh you can see there we go we got our hello world it's all there let's just go down here and go to a dot app and let's just quickly make add some padding so it pushes everything away from the edge let's just say one rem no nope, two rem one rem we'll do two rem one one i want it to be higher at the top there that's fine cool so there we go let's push everything down for us 
Um, so let's go back to our app now. So what do we need to do? We need to import our QR code generator, but let's get our markup done. So let's get all the styling we need out of the way here. So the first thing I want to do is we're going to have this and we can rename this to whatever we want. I'm just going to say QR code generator. Um, and there you go. Obviously, the styling, the layout of this doesn't really matter. It's more about the functionality, but I thought I'd get this out of the way early. So we're going to have an input field of type text. Um, I'm going to break these down to separate lines. We're going to have a placeholder, which is going to say um, e.g https uh, google.com. Just as an example, one in there. We can then add in a value. Um, it's just going to be empty for now. Obviously, we're going to bind our value later on. We can actually leave that off until we do bind it. So there we go. We've got that. Let's create a button um, and just call generate. Just like that. And there you go. So that's that's there. Let's, let's style that up real quick. Um, let's just go down here. And underneath app, all we're going to want to add is uh well we want to style our h1 first let's say our h1 give it a font size of 2 rem um which it already is so let's go 2.5 let's make it a bit bigger there you go much nicer a margin bottom of one rem there uh it's just to push everything else down we're gonna get our input now this is gonna be a little bit of code here so we're just gonna reset the appearance let's just slide down i'm gonna close this sidebar i'm gonna zoom in one for you just to make it easier there you go so we'll get our appearance. We're going to reset our outline. We're going to reset our border. Uh, border, none. And then we're also, none, please. And then we're going to set our background to be EEE, -E -E, just a more of a light gray. Um, we're going to give it a width of 100%, um, which is going to break it, but that's fine. Uh, we're just going to then set a max width of, let's say, 300 pixels. 300 pixels should be enough to get a good url in there uh, obviously you can paste it more it's just you know um let's just add a 0 0.5 rem of padding one rem on the top and bottom 0 0.5 on top and bottom and one rem on the left and right um let's give it a border radius of 0 0.5 rem as well just to make the edges slightly rounded and then a margin right of one rem to push that generator button over to the right a little um that's good. I think we're good for the input field. Let's actually style the button. So we're actually going to style the button and a tags just because I'm going to have an anchor tag to download this later, which I want the same style. I don't know if that's at save. That's actually pretty good. Other than we don't want a background, we want to set that to none. Um, we don't want the width to be 100. We don't want any of that width properties. Save. That puts it back up to the left. That's good. Uh, we can keep the padding, although it's not, uh, it's not necessary. We'll, we'll remove that. Uh, we don't want any margin top. Um, I don't know why it's margin top. There we go. All right, so let's set the color of this to be like some sort of greeny color. What color would be? Let's say 2B, 4, no, CB, uh, 4B. Uh, hashtag. That should be about green. There you go. That's nice. Give it a font size of 1.5 rem, looking much better. A line height of, oh, excuse me, a line height of 1 or just one that should give it the exact line height of the font size and then text decoration oh, text decoration of none just so when we have an anchor it doesn't oh and we're missing a cursor we need a cursor of pointer so when we hover over it it actually looks pretty good there we go that should be the styling we need the last thing we're going to need to style is our image um because we're going to obviously put our qr code in an image so let's just do that now let's say here we're going to display it as block we want it to be a block level I'm going to give it a, we're going to give it a, let's say a width of 100% and a max width of 480 pixels. Um, and then height should also just be auto on that. Um, and then we just want margin, let's just say 2 rem on the top and bottom and then auto because then that will give us some space from this. I think that's good let's let's go see this so we've got our button we're going, going to get an image in here um which obviously is going to have we're going to need to obviously get the qr code stuff in there the actual data so let's go work on that so up the top here we're going to need to import two things so the first thing we're going to need for is qr code from the package we imported qr code which is perfect we also need use state 
um, from React, of course, because we're going to be working with some state properties. Um, let's create two state properties. We're going to get a URL and then the set URL. We're also going to get a QR, um, QR code, um, and then set QR code right there, which should be fine. Underneath this, we can then say const. We we're gonna want to we're gonna want to generate. So we have a function called generate QR code. Sell it to an arrow function. Um, and in here we're gonna say QR code dot two data URL. We're gonna pass through our URL. We're gonna get an error and then the actual data URL. And then we can set that to an arrow function and actually just say if we have an error. Um, we're just going to return a console.error of error. Then if there's no errors, we're just going to say uh, console.log URL. Uh, and we'll actually sell it. We'll say set QR code and we'll sell it to the URL because we're going to need that later on. So save. And that should be good. Now, we can add some options into this, but I'm not going to do that yet. I'll show you how to add options to this in a moment. So this should be all we need. So go down here. Let's just bind the source. Let's make this the um, URL. Or not the URL, sorry. This should actually be the QR code um, in here. This is going to be a data URL. We do not need this. Um, and I think that's it for the image. It just needs a QR code. Let's save that, refresh. We might get an error. Nope. Cool. So now what we want to do is we want to send on click event on our button. So we're going to say on click and we're going to pass generate QR code in there. So let's try this out. We might get an error. Let's open up our console and put it at the bottom so we can see if we get any errors here. Uh, hide the any log in there. Let's hide the settings. There we go. All right. Let's try this. So HTTP, um, Tyler Potts dot dot you oh i can actually spell generate and we've got an error what is it no input text oh of course we did not bind our input so what we want to do is set the value equal to our url then we want to say on change we're going to say do an arrow function with event in it um and then we're just going to say set url and the url is going to be eft.target.value um which should set it um, to be our targets value save now let's refresh this type http local oh, not local host uh, tylerpots.co.uk generate and there you go you can see we've got a qr code you can see that's what it looks like down here if we actually click this i think it will download it no it opens it up oh nice that's kind of cool you can actually save it as well from there uh, obviously not pe people aren't going to go into your console log to save this so we're going to create a download button as well um and there you go you can see that actually works one thing you may notice though if there isn't one on some pages you'll see there's a little broken image icon because the source doesn't exist so what we want to do is we want to make sure this only appears if there is a source so we're just going to add in some brackets around here and i'm going to say qr code and and so this just says if this exists then do the following and we're going to use a, fra a, a react fragment here um, which is just basically an empty tag just to say break this bring that down and then we'll go there there you go so this just basically creates an empty frag to wrap um, html elements in and then we also want to download button so what we're going to do is we're going to have a download as you can see there you can give it a name um, and download as well um we could also append something to this name so let's let's give this actually no let's not do that you could append something to name but it's probably best if you keep it something simple because that's going to run into some errors when people start writing um all these weird characters in there um so href qr code which will be the data url which when you click it will actually download with the name of qr codes.png you could also do jpeg or whatever else you wanted there so that Although I'm pretty sure it comes through as a QR. So let's, oh, sorry, a, P and, a PNG. So 
Let's have a look here. So have we got everything here? It says generate QR code. So this will only show. So look, if we don't do this, by the way, if we remove this QR bit real quick and save, you'll see we have a download button, but it doesn't actually go anywhere. That's going to look failed, no file, because there isn't actually anything on it. So if we now undo that and actually add that back, that will only appear once we have generated a code. So let's try this again. Let's go in here. Let's say HTTP uh, tylerpots.co.uk. Hit generate. And there you go. You can see that's there. And if we hit download, we get a QR code. If we open that, you can see the QR code there. But it's kind of small and you can see it's kind of blurry. So trying to scan this with your phone, you may have a few errors, especially if you're doing it through YouTube itself as well, because that's just that's going to look a bit wrong. It doesn't look right. It's a bit blurry, so it's not there. So we need to add in some simple um basically some simple options here now you can head over to um qr codes npm it's right here um i'll try and remember to put this link in the description if not it's just this and you can actually see the options here qr code options you've got error correction level um which they I, i'm not 100 sure what they do but i'm pretty sure they make it so if you want high correction level it means there'll be less errors low will be a better version uh, it'll look better. I'm not sure what these mean. This You can find that out for yourself, but I'm not going to use that. What we're going to use today is some margin, scale, small, width, color, dark, color, light. We can change all of these values in there. So let's just close this. Put Scroll this all the way back. Um, and let's add in, let's start off with something simple. Let's start off with width. We want it to be less blurry. So I'm going to set it to be 800, which is a pretty big quality of the image. And let's give it margin of two because I think it's set to four by default. You see all this padding around the edge? We're going to want to remove some of that. So I'm setting it to two instead of four because that's what it's by default. So let's generate a new code. And there you go. You can see it's much more crisp. The image is a lot better and we have less padding. You probably even set that to one. Um, generate. And there you go. That's right up the edge. Although I kind of prefer two. I like, I like having some border because that distinguishes where the QR code is. Um, and then the other thing we could do is actually change its colors as well. So let's say color. Now, this is an object where you can have dark. And this is actually a, um, you have to use an eight character code for this. So we're going to say, let's just do, let's do like a blue. So zero, zero, oh, zero, zero, F, 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 F. So the two Fs at the end are the transparency. If we did this as zero, zero, it would probably not work. You can see it's actually completely invisible. Um, it's showing the backgrounds there, the actual background behind it. Um, if we now make this, let's say, um, FF and save and hit generate again, you can see it's now bright blue, which is a pretty ugly color. Um, so let's change it to something which actually looks pretty good. Um, so I'm just going to say 3353, and then we're going to have 83, um, which should be a nice nice look a nice little blue there you can obviously put your brand colors here obviously you've got to take you've got to take note of the contrast because obviously if it's not contrast enough you're probably going to run into a few errors um and then let's give the light color so we can actually change the color of the background here essentially um and let's try and invert it let's say zero 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 ff hit save and if we generate you can see that's now a dark color although i don't think i think this is not recommended i'm going to test if this works real quick with a quick qr code scan it does still work so i've just tested it on my phone and that does work um which is interesting so we can actually invert the colors here let's just do it F F F F. hit save click generate and there you go you've got an inverted color or we could swap them around um and there you go generate it back to normal so that is how you build a qr code generator download it obviously we want to remove this console log here because as you can see in the bottom there it, it's kind of ugly constantly seeing that generate uh, and there you go it doesn't appear there anymore so there you go so that is how you build a qr code generator guys i hope you've enjoyed this video if you learned something new you can hit that thumbs up button that really helps smash that subscribe button if you're new around here we do videos like this all the time we do streams we do a bunch of other things so feel free to subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions if you get stuck and you need help feel free to jump in our discord server the link is down below hop over to the help channels and ask for help someone will help you there and if not if i'm around i'll try and help you myself um so guys thank you all for tuning into this video and i will see you in the next one peace out